I am more confident than uh, I was in the morning that uh, no further life will be lost. And um, we've taken some of the patients back to the operating room to further address their wounds, but uh, they're all hemodynamically stable. Some of them have uh, woken up completely and I've uh, talked to them and they're with a clear mental status. So um, overall an optimistic message at this point. As a matter of fact, I've been moved and, and as a matter of fact, really amazed by the resolve of our patients. I, I talked to some of them, I talked to some of the families. They're really amazing people. Uh, some of them woke up today with no leg and they told me that they're happy to be alive. They thought uh, as these things happened, they, were, they, they told me that they thought they would die as they saw the blood spilling out. Uh, they thought that they would lose their life right there and then. And as they woke up today from surgery and they saw that they're not dead, they feel extremely thankful. And some of them told me that they feel lucky. And, and it's almost a paradox to see these patients without an extremity to wake up and, and feel lucky. But that talks about our patients. There are one or two patients who arrived to us in very, very critical condition. I am convinced that if they'd spent another just a few minutes at the scene and delayed getting to the hospital, they would, un they would not be alive today.